What is it? It's fast approaching. Finally, it's time. It's time Darth Mixus, it's time. if you're not ready by the time oh, I get yeah. my saber, oh, you're yeah. not going anywhere. Oh, Hello everyone, this is Sith Lord Gates uh, coming at you just with a uh, quick video on how to um, update your Asteria soundboard to version 1.9. Uh, just making this video because I did get a lot of questions in regards to how to update the board and how to get the pre-ons to work. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick video on how to do just that. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is uh, with your heart, you want to remove your battery. Yeah, that works for me. Yeah, always, always, always remove your battery first. All right. So then from there, um, you have you have two options. You can either plug if it plug in your heart via USB or you can take out the SD card. Personally, I like to take the SD card out. I don't like plugging my heart in unless I really have to. So I usually just take the SD card out and then I mount it to my computer. Uh, so either way you like to do it is fine. Doesn't really matter. It's just more of an opinion thing. Um, so uh, once you've done that, you have your SD mounted. Um, you want to, one second, make my box a little smaller. Here we go. Um, you want to go into the SD files, into the SD card, which this would serve as my SD card right here. Um, the second thing you want to do is you want to make a copy of the original SD card. If you look at mine, I'm actually using a, a copy that says a stereo original do not touch so i make sure that i do not mess this copy up uh, when i'm playing around in things and so once you make your copy um you want to go into right here you basically just want to go to the manual user manual now from you from the user's manual you'll have instructions on how to update the board. So I'm already on that section. Uh, so basically from here, like I said, you wanna get into the manual because you definitely wanna read this so you know, you know a little bit about what you're doing. Um, but while you're in the manual, it tells you you're gonna need to open the updater. So, and that's right here in this section. So you can either download updater from the manual or it's actually also on your SD card in a zip file. Let me get over to my updater. I think I already have it open somewhere. Yep. So when you open up the updater, this is what you're going to get here. Close these out. This is what you're going to see right here. It's kind of like a blank format. So once you get to this section, what you want to do, oops, make sure you can actually see this stuff. So if you chose to simply plug in your heart instead of uh, the SD card, then what you're going to want to do at this point is you do want to remove the SD card from your heart. And then we're going to go ahead and plug it in. So once you have your heart plugged in uh, via USB, um, at the bottom you'll see an orange light letting you know basically that it's, it's plugged in um, at the top. You'll see a red and black wire right under the black wire. There is a button. It's very small, very kind of hard to see. It's a small little metal button with a little black dot in the middle. Let's see if I can get the camera to kind of focus on it. It's right there. All right. So what you want to do is you are going to um, bring up your updater I put mine away on accident so bring up your updater 
and then you're going to want to hold that button in. Now, you are going to hear a beep when uh, you're holding the button in. Disregard the beep. Do not let go. You want to hold that button in until the information generates onto the updater and the uh, device information. So we're going to do that now. Hit the button and just keep holding. That's the beep. Disregard the beep. Keep holding. And there we go. So now the information is generated on the screen. What you're going to do is you're going to take this Bonaparte upgrade tag. You're going to copy the upgrade tag. And we're going to minimize that. And then you're going to create an email. So we are going to write an email to U W Sabers at 163.com. Now in the subject, you are going to put update plus and you are going to paste in that code. Now, at this point, you really, all you have to do is hit send. Now, I like to always just say, please send update. Now, again, you don't actually have to do that because they already know what it is when you send it. So, um, I just like to always just include just in case. So, you're going to send this email out. Now, within about, well, I mean, per... Their website, um, it says about 24 hour turnaround time to get the email back. Um, that could be debatable. At any rate, you're going to get a return email um, that looks like this one here. So it's basically going to tell you that you've been updated, um, upgrade file generated successfully. Um, it gives you just a small background on what the update is. So you have uh, from 1.8 to 1.9. Uh, they're adding on a pre-on stage, uh, on-hill volume settings, on-hill color settings, customized folder, renames, um, add uh, 4.0i, and secondary blade ignition selectable disabled function. So these are the updates for 1.09. Now at the very bottom here, um, as you can see, it has to get the resource links. This first attachment is the update that goes onto the board itself. Um, the second attachment is the SD card information. So you need both of these. So uh, the next step is at this point, you're going to download both of these packages, which I already have downloaded, so I'm not going to do it again. All right, so once you have your .uwb, however you want to do it, if you want to do it from your email, if you want to download it, however you want to do it, once you have everything all set up, you're going to, you're going to open up the updater again, and we're going to repeat the first step where we plug in the the board, if you already have it plugged in still, it's fine. Just leave it plugged in. And then we're going to hold the little black button again until we get our information on the device information section of the updater. So here's my little beep. Keep holding it. Here we go. Now my, now my device information is up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that UWB. Well, we're not going to move it really. We're going to go to firmware at the bottom. We're going to go to open, find your UWB, Click open, push your information down in here. And then from there, the only thing you need to do is hit the upgrade button. Of course, I am not going to do that since my um, heart has already been updated, but that is the last step in this process. So once your heart has been updated, um, you should have also updated that file um, that said, uh, what was it, 1.09 Blade, I believe. I can go and take a look at it again, make sure I get the right information. Yeah, it says 1.090 single blade.zip. You should have updated that as well. I mean, sorry, you should have downloaded that as well. So I have that right here. So what that is, that is the information that goes on the SD card, which is this. Look familiar? So what I basically did was um, I took this bomb section here and I just copied that 
I swapped this out from what I had on my SD card to this information. And then I simply opened up what I already have. So I'll give you an example. Um, so let's look at my SD card. Comparison. So as you can see, I already have files here that are different from what the originals are. So what I did was basically I opened up each one of my files example ancient prophecy each file has an effect text in it and this effect text is basically what tells your saber what to do um so with the new text effect it has a portion here now it is for your prions so in order for prions to work you're going to need this section of the text so i just went through and i i copied this and I paste it into each of my existing effect files for each folder I had, which when I, mean, when I say folder, I mean for sound font. So each sound font has one of these in there. So all I did is I went to each one and I simply went to the bottom and pasted this section in here um, in order to make sure I had the correct text for the prions to work. Um, and then, like I said, I took this section from the new update here and copied that over to my SD card so everything would match. So there was, so there was no type of text that would be missing or mismatched. Um, so that, that worked really good for me. It was easy to do. Um, the second thing um, after I completed that that needs to be done is for your prions. Now, if you, if you kept your existing sound fonts, then you do not have a pre-on folder in, in any of them. If you simply copy the new SD card and pasted it over, um, then, you're, then your files are already ready to go pretty much for pre-ons, I believe. Um, if they don't have folders in them, then you do have to make them. I didn't actually look at what was in stock. I think I, oh, actually, no, I did. There is like one or two in the new SD files that have a pre-on folder. The rest you'll have to make if you want them. But it's simple. Um, so all you're going to do, you're going to create you a new folder, name it Prion. So now we have a Prion folder. So now we need to go back to our 1.9 update. And right here, you'll see UW 2.0 Blade Effects 1.09.0 zip. We need to unzip this as well. So again, I'm not going to unzip this because I already have it unzipped. Uh, so you want to save it somewhere on your computer so you know where it's at. I have mine right here under, I renamed it Blade Effects. So these are the new Blade Effects. Here, PO is your pre-on effects. So in our pre-on folder, we need to have a pre-on effect. So we're going to go and open that up. You have one, three, four, and five in here. Now you can look through the, I believe they gave us a guide somewhere. You can also just open these up and it kind of tells you what it does. So this is mode one, which is unstable. Um, you have mode three, which is energy gathering. Mode four, which is falling block. And then mode five, which is voiceover. I have no idea what mode five does, unfortunately. I have to figure that out still. But um, so let's say we want to have an unstable blade effect. Again, you're basically just going to copy your PO and you're going to paste that into your prion folder. So now I have a prion in the folder. So now we need a sound to go with it as well. Without, without a sound and a prion, I don't I actually don't know if the prion will play without sound or not, but we need a, a sound to go with it. Now, personally, I have my own folders of prions that I use. Just copy that one over and I'm going to paste it in. Now you do need to rename it. So I have to go in here and I have to rename this Prion. All right. So now that Prion is all set to go. So once we put this in the Sabre, we sparked it on that Prion would run that sound font 
and whatever we selected as far as our prion. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Um, that's all that needs to be done. You have it updated, you have your prion files put in. Um, all the other features are pretty much um, enabled once you've updated it, the, the board. So um, I hope this has been helpful um, for anyone out there who um, still needs to get their board updated um, and may not you know, really understand the directions or the, the, uh, the uh, user guide or even know where to find the user guide at because it's kind of, you know, you have to plug your SD card in to either find it or go to the, the POC store's website. It's like all the way at the bottom. Um, I'm there you have it. I um, hope everyone enjoyed the video and it's helpful. And may the force be with you.